So in wanting to transmit torque from one ring uh, to turn another ring that's in tension to it, you want to get rid of some of the lines so there's less line drag. However, this system I've designed here is going to be absolutely rubbish at the job. You'll notice that some of the lines, which are meant to be in tension, are ahead of the, this tension point. So this really has to be much further around the tube that makes up, uh, let me show you that tube, the, you know, the surface that I've drawn this on. This kind of bridling, this this cascade where you've got um, one ring and you know you've you've got the, the average point and the halfway point down to the next ring with the next halfway points and you know less and less points. That's fine if you're bridling down into the center onto you know to hold this ring against that line. So here where you've got this end cap, it'd be great to hold this ring onto that line and stop it moving up and down the line. That's perfect for that. For here, we want something more like the the leading edge bridling of uh, an inflated leading edge, you know, leading edge inflated kite, where it's it's really spread out. So this whole collection would come onto one line that really runs from there and runs down to this point, and that would all flow onto that line at um, some averaged pull point. So it's much more a spiral shape bridling that we're wanting. You know, this is all sort of twisted around a bit more. I'll see if we can work.